Hi, it's been a long time since I've made a pick a card, but I am back. Um, I am an animal lover, if anyone knows that about me. Um, and I thought it would be fun to use all my animal influence decks today. Um, so we have three um, piles here. And you can just pick whichever one you are most drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one, that's fine. I think today we're just going to do... Um, Kind of leave it open to what you need to hear right now from your guides so we have pile one here i'm going to show you the crystal that i picked and then you can pick by that the back image um or i will show i'm going to also show you the hermit card from each deck so you can see the illustrations okay so we have for pile one we have tiger's eye and then this is the Crow Tarot. That is the Hermit card. For Pile 2, we have Amethyst and the Hermit card. And for pile three, we have black tourmaline and with the wild unknown tarot deck, we have the hermit. Okay, so if you need more time to decide, you can pause here if you'd like. Otherwise, I will leave the timestamps to each pile in the description and you can go right to your pile. Hi, group one. Okay, so you picked the Crow Tarot. Um, I also already um, shuffled and drew some Oracle cards for you. So actually, I think I'm going to do that first. See the overall energy here. Okay. Okay, so first we have number 41, self-discipline. Okay, we have eight, commitment. Already there's a theme there. Uh, okay, and for the crystal, that the energy you can use now is anandalite. I actually don't know if I'm saying that right. And then number 25, um, if these numbers might um, be significant to you. Okay, and then the last one is Firefly. Okay, so that message to me is very clear here. Okay, so... Alright, for the Firefly. The Firefly energy is like passion ideas that like come to you quickly but then either like a lot of times they're not um completed like it's like this idea and then the energy for it the passion for it it's just like a fleeting moment just like a firefly's light it just it shines bright and then it's gone so with this self-discipline and commitment cards i would say this is a message to complete projects or whatever ideas come to you like those are actually meant to be um meant to be completed so or if you've already committed to something especially if you've committed to something maybe you've lost the spark for it and you're just kind of oh i don't want to finish it but this is a message to finish it because good things will come from that abundance or just anything good in general, but as, this card, as you can see, the I don't know if you can see the male's beak is broken, and she's like feeding him because she's committed to being his partner. Um, okay. All right, let me see here. And then this card here, this crystal is about 
cosmic consciousness and being an enlightenment. So it doesn't okay. Uh, and it's saying that you're like right on the brink of um what is the word? Ascend like more ascension. So this could actually be something that could be a separate message, but then this, this could, this project or idea could be completely separate to this. Um, but it could also be, you know, like a book you're reading or a class or breath work or a morning routine, something that's like, that you need to just keep going at and you're going to open up that higher chakra. Okay, and like this commitment, it could be a relationship as in this card here, it could be um, a career job thing, but I really feel it's something to do with your own well-being or your own ideas that you have like for like a business idea or something like that, or an art project, something. Um, hmm. And I know I'm the queen of starting a million things and never finishing them. ADHD. Like this channel, I started and then stopped until I was like, oh yeah, that's give me dopamine now. So it's like, um, any way you can like make it entertain entertaining to you or give you that um, excitement back in finishing the project or even, I mean, also there's the thing where it's just, you don't want to do things sometimes, but it's just that commitment to doing it will, you'll feel good at the end. I'm trying to remember the saying here, but anyways, okay. Let's see what tarot cards we can get here. Does a group one need to hear? Oh boy. That again. Yeah, okay. Right away you have the Hierophant. And that right there is mastery, like self-mastery, mentor, teacher. So, and you got key. Okay, so there's two and then three. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we get. Queen of Cups. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely something to do with your inner growth, um, either spiritually, physically. I really, f and it's definitely uh, emotionally, like Queen of Cups here is, she's very emotionally um, mature. She's also very intuitive, so this could be a journey of your intuition. I'm really feeling heart chakra here also with the green and the queen of cups. And like I said, the chakra here thing too. So this could be about aligning your chakras or working with chakras. But the hermit is um, finding, this can be about meditation too. Like I said that too before. So all these little things that you can work in your day to really commit to these routines to better your day, which will better your week, which will better your gear and your life. So the hermit is finding your, your inner light. So not needing someone else's light or an outside source to bring you that happiness. I just heard yoga teacher too. So <laughs> maybe you're going for your yoga certificate or some teaching certificate or okay this can also all right i just got this um with the commitment card with the two crows here and then the hierophant the hierophant is also my marriage card and as you can see here the two crows are getting married 
it looks as in this card. Um, I mean, they're probably not, but in this card, it's it, making me see that they're getting married. Um, and the Queen of Cups. Let me see here what I get. Hmm. Okay, I just... This could be... Uh, staying committed to your marriage and it might you might have been like or relationship in any way maybe things are kind of feel in a lull right now um this is saying like don't give up yet keep up the work this also makes me feel like don't lose yourself inside of this commitment like make sure that you are also doing things that you love and doing things that light you up and like tr not to be codependent I heard um, let's see so interesting too like the firefly that's like fine I mean it's like finding your inner light again there's a lot about light 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 I'm gonna pull one more card to see how we get here nice I love it ten of pentacles and that's long-term commitment abundance mm. like leaving a legacy I just feel like you guys just or just need that little reminder I think things are obviously beautiful if everything's beautiful I think that's kind of the reminder like maybe you've just like lost sight of something or something might seem boring you're just ugh, don't want to do it whether this be the a relationship or that working on a project or or yourself but this is just reminding you just with that keeping that commitment and self-discipline and it's going to bring you happiness and abundance um and if you give up now you're not going to reach you know you won't be able to reach that pinnacle that you that you are capable of in this situation. Tiger's eye. Well, I'm going to see like the light, the flashing light here. I heard confidence also. Yeah, I think, I mean, the message would be different for everyone, but uh, with that how I said like codependency I just heard like find your confidence and your light within you like that tiger's eye to me is giving like confidence okay and before I'll say this um the hermit is Virgo energy I just realized here and I'd say this and the hierophant um is Taurus so there's when with this there's a lot of um earth signs here so that could be your energy your partner's energy or someone in the situation or just doesn't have to mean anything but i like to say that all right i think i'm going to leave it there so just keep going and i think you're going to get the spark back you just it's a little lull right now and you're going to be able to complete whatever this is if that resonates with you, I'd love to know which which area that works for you, which resonated for you. If you're taking a course or something of that sort. All right. Thank you, group one. See you next time. Hi, group two. Okay, you picked the amethyst. And the Curious Creatures Tarot. Or the Tarot of Curious Creatures. Okay. I also already picked some Oracle cards for you. So we'll go through those, I think, first. And then we'll do the Tarot. Okay, so let's see. First, my fave. Okay, music. 32. Music. Routine, C 
chrysocolla for your crystal. This is number four, I don't know. And for the animal spirit, you have dragonfly. Okay. All right, so the dragonfly energy is very flighty and a lot of movement. Um, it's very shimmery and it's telling us that something might not be what it seems because maybe you don't you don't have a very clear you don't have a clear look at it. So you might think something is one way, but really it might not be, and it might be either causing causing some kind of issue in your life or making you feel a way about it but it's really telling you to really make sure that you know the full story of what's really going on and then this chrysocolla if it can I don't know if it's gonna uh, anyways that's all about self-love uh, and actually, it can be about like moving through past traumas or just being very patient with yourself and really taking a look at that. That might actually be with the dragonfly. It might be something in your past that really holds, has like a hold, has a hold on you, but maybe it really wasn't what it seemed and you can pr get through that. Maybe you get communication from someone to clarify what really happened or what was said. Um, and then that will lead you to a lot of growth. It's also giving me just self-love, self-care here because of the routine and the music. So music, I mean self-explanatory, this is reminding you um, to listen to music daily, things that you love. It's a really easy, fast way to raise your vibration and bring things in that you want to manifest because we manifest with the energy that we hold currently. So if we are feeling really good and happy, then it's much easier for things to flow to us. So I mean, just when you're cleaning or it can be any meditation music, it could be just fun dance music, whatever. Um, just it's a reminder to bring music into your life. I know I feel a million times better when I listen to music. And then the routine, that's just a reminder again. Um, listen to music, do things that it doesn't have to be like self care to me is like our routines are not like, I don't know, like going to the spa. It's like just breathing. Like I like when I'm in the shower, being mindful of what I'm doing. Um, are just doing the same thing every day, like being mindful when you have a tea or coffee or doing some stretches or breathing, journaling, music, um, affirmations, anything like that. It's also giving me making sure maybe you're getting enough sleep even, like going to bed and waking up at a good time. Um, Maybe, oh, I just heard like, um, with that self-love also maybe saying no, like if you have a routine, then you want to do the routine and someone wants you to do something or you're invited somewhere and you don't want to go, you it put yourself first and go home and do your routine. Um, okay. That's what I'm getting with that. Okay. Let's pull some tarot. Okay. What does, what does group two oh need right now? Okay, quick hooks. Okay, your guys is coming out quick. They were coming out quick. So one more card for group two. What does group two need to know? Okay. So 
you have the Queen of Cups. So cute. Pile one hell, so I had Queen of Cups. Um, five of Cups and three of Pentacles. All right, so we'll do this. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is the energy of being sad, down, focusing on something like negative when really like she's like oh those got knocked over and they're stuck in there really behind her she is full cups so it's about focusing on something that kind of brings you down when if you just focused your energy refocused your energy on the positives in your life you would have so much more joy and happiness and that Yeah, like when I said the dragonfly, how we don't know maybe what the full story or what the truth is. I just feel like there needs to be clarification from something. Like, I don't think this is like some kind of huge trauma thing or anything. I think it's just like a miscommunication or something between friends or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, three of pentacles. <laughs> That's fun. That's like working together, communication, collaboration. This could have been also like maybe even like working with someone, like a team collaboration. And there was some kind of miscommunication. And then the queen of cups. I love this card. This is like your heart, what you like, um, your intuition. She's very, I feel like, I mean, this is you, I feel in this way. Um, you're very emotional, emotionally, I want to say stable, but I'm not, I feel like it's like I'm getting like empathetic actually. Like maybe you're highly sensitive, empathetic, very intuitive. <laughs> okay, I, th I I just saw like um, you're intuitive and maybe you picked up on maybe you like pick up on other people's energies empathetic um, and you're an empath I mean and it's like these fleeting little I'm loving all these blues holy cow it's just it's like Blue, if she's feeling blue, but <laughs> these are blue. Um, you know, it's like those just fleeting. I know I do with my husband, and like he'll be in a mood for two seconds, and then I feel that way all day. <laughs> um, it's like this little quick, like dragonflies, it just comes in, and then you pick up that energy. And it's like really, it's not your energy. You can drop it. And I'm trying to I'm really hone in on your own energies. I think that routine also, like if you can do, I kept saying mindfulness. I think I said that a lot. So I don't, um, being mindful of your own energy, like being in tune to that, just taking like five, 10 minutes a day and just sitting with yourself, that will help you differentiate if it's your energy you're feeling or if it's someone else's energy. Uh, and then the back of the deck energy is eight of cups. It's like walking away from Something that doesn't serve you. Negativity. Mm. Seven of Cups. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Seven of Cups. It's having options. There's... I don't know why it's not focusing. If you can see, there's like... Positive options negative options it's like also about daydreaming it's I just feel like you have the choice choice to feel better emotionally um, by just being in tune with your own energy and again listening to music when you're in a funk listening to music oh that's interesting the colors are really popping up all those blues and then these these ones are giving me like the same 
vibe here. So when you're feeling down, listen to music. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, so your overall, what you need to know is really take the time to, for self-love, self-care, routine, putting, making sure you set time aside for yourself to do things that bring you joy and to just hone in on your own energies so that you're not picking up others' energies. And also, if there's something that, like a little argument or something that you feel is bringing you down right now, maybe try to look at all sides and get the whole story and reach out to someone if you need to clarify anything. And yeah, I'm getting it might be like with friends, like a friend group or a collaboration with work or something like that. Um, and something might not even have been said or done, but you intuitively felt something. And then you're kind of just in your own head about it without even discussing it with the person or bringing it up to them. So you might be making like something small into a much larger, you know, you're catastrophizing it in your head. Okay. Yeah, and I don't think it's like some huge, if it is like that energy, I don't think it's like a big deal. There's like, it's all minor account. I don't, it's just like a little disagreement or miscommunication. Uh, okay. Yeah, so make sure you guys take time for yourself. <laughs> That's the big, big take here. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. If that resonated, please let me know in the comments. And if you liked this, you can like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Hi, group three. Okay, you picked the black tourmaline. It's all about protection. Okay, in the wild unknown tarot deck. Okay, I already picked some oracle cards for you guys, so we'll take a look at those first to see the overall energy. Okay, you have number 96, forgiveness. Forty-three sacred space. For your crystal, you have polychrome jasper. And oh, for your animal spirit, you have cosmic egg. Okay, so right away, I'm actually going to read this from the book because this is, like, the top one from this book, and I will not do it justice, so I'm going to read it for you. Okay. All right. Cosmic Egg. Completion, harmony, the infinite within the finite. In, within the finite. The cosmic egg is the final card in the journey of the animal spirit deck, and it represents the unfolding of cosmic cons consciousness. Ooh, cosmic consciousness. I said that in group one also, so if you were drawn to that, that was drawn to that, I said that. Those words. Cosmic consciousness. This state emerges after we have tread the path for quite some time, and through self-effort and grace, we experience realization self-realization a sense of contentment and oneness spontaneously arises within us and the veils of our self-limiting beliefs are lifted when the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated we may feel as if we will never get there or that we travel alone disconnected from others even if our encounter with this card is brief appearing as a momentary glimmer or flash of interconnectedness its potent energy stays with us the cosmic egg is a remedy for the fragmentation of modern life it's through the power of this card that we are reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning. We hold on to life and life holds on to us. The journey is complete, but it does not end. Um, and then it says the cosmic egg and the seventh chakra. The subtle essence of the cosmic egg resides at the crown chakra at the top of the head. 
One of the aims of yoga and meditation practice is to channel energy from the base of the spine upward towards the crown. Each of the six lower chakras plays an important role along this journey. And once the final epicenter of consciousness is activated, it is said to radiate the light of a million suns. Okay, so you guys are going to have a deeper reading. This is awesome also, is eggs here and an egg. You have the crow eggs and that egg, and then this jasper is shape of an egg. Okay, um, where do we go here? Okay, so forgiveness. This card speaks um, forgiving others and yourself. So if there's something that you've been holding on to, I feel like it's for quite some time. Um, it's okay to release that. Forgiveness doesn't mean it's not for the other person. It's for you. So it just like try to process it and let it go and move on and it doesn't mean that what they did or anything is right but it's not worth it shouldn't have a hold on you any longer so you're the only one suffering <laughs> I'm sure they don't care so if they do and it doesn't like and what I'm trying to say they might care but it's it's holds you down for longer if you if you're holding on to that now so I also feel it's a lot of self-forgiveness, so if you're feeling guilty or something, it's in the past and you can move forward. And Okay. Yeah, I feel like, like you're in the egg right now, and it's like, whatever that is, is kind of like holding you holding you in and once you break through it's just like a tiny crack and you're gonna be out like that's just holding you back I think so either guilt for doing something or just like resentment and just all those like lower energy uh, emotions mm, okay and then sacred space um, this is about if it's time to like visit or make sure you take time maybe even into your daily routine to go whatever is your sacred space this could be your house the beach nature and anywhere um, but just make sure you take that time and I really feel like hmm, Just like seeing like the feather it's like part of you so hmm. like it I'm really feeling like it could be like your home or even like putting more energy into making your home how you want to make it into a sacred space would be helpful hmm. but otherwise it's just going to wherever that place is that makes you feel like your home like go there <laughs> and that will actually oh, if you go there and like sit with yourself to process whatever this is that you have to forgive that I think will really aid the process and did I see this yet? no the um Polychrome Jasper is also like uh, look up. It's belonging. It's the shaman stone that assists with traveling between worlds, offering protection while you travel. And it's also about feeling like you belong into like a group. So you chose Black Tourmaline, which is about protection. traveling I mean you might be traveling you might also oh actually I feel like maybe I just got this that you may be traveling home like to a hometown or to like your parents something like that home and maybe that has to do with something that you need to forgive it might help like if you're going to see your parents and you know there's past resentments and stuff it's okay to let that go. Okay. Mm, 
Okay, I'm going to pull some the tarot cards now. You pick the Wild Unknown, which is my first tarot deck ever. So, with this being like such a spiritual thing and sacred space, I feel like either you're going to get into something more like spiritual or like tarot or just maybe reading books about I just heard astrology stuff like that like um, just broadening what you are interested in and learning okay okay so first of all you got the nine of cups The tower. The seven of pentacles. One more. One more card for Just one. the sun. I'll take that and do that's good. Okay, one more card. Three. Okay, you got two. Okay, that's interesting. This deck has a ton of animals in it and all of your cards none of them have animals. So that could mean you're not an animal lover or <laughs> let's just see what energy this is here. Okay, so we have the nine of cups, the tower, seven of pentacles, Two of Cups and the Sun. Okay, so the tower being here, that it can be something unexpected. It is usually something ending, but it's some whatever is ending was not built on a strong foundation. So it if you don't end it, the universe ends it, and then you can start over and build it on a strong foundation. Yeah, I really feel like that's going to be an unexpected thing, but it's definitely leading to more positivity. Like, it's something that has to end, and it's something you might actually want to happen. It just will be unexpected. And the sun, oh, we do have some birds here. That's it. So the sun is the happiest card in the deck, so it's going to be a good outcome for you. The two of cups. I feel like, okay, so I feel like it's something that you've been like waiting for a long time to happen, so you don't think it's going to happen, and then boom, it happens, and then it's a very happy, because the Nine of Cups is a wish come true, and then the Two of Cups, this can be romantic or any kind of partnership, uh, it can also just be like your higher self or like a match. I really think it's like ascension type energy here with the cosmic egg and everything. Mm. Yeah, this could be like a connection with the forgiveness card. It could be a connection that's been broken or struggling and you've been wanting it to heal and you've wanted to work through it and you it's been maybe years or months but and you've just kind of given up hope and then suddenly you're either going to have contact with them or I just heard get a letter or maybe like a message. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. What I'm gonna do my aim goal. Oh, I'm all mixed up here. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna pull one card to clarify the tower to see what we get. Yeah, Father of Swords. I think it's communication. Let's see. Okay. 
So you got the hermit, just like we had here. So the hermit is about going within and finding your own light. Mm -hmm. If you want meditation, it could even be that you've processed, like I always said, you go to the sacred space and process what's going on and give that forgiveness to yourself. Like even if it's the other person, will allow yourself to feel that forgiveness and not let it hold you back. So maybe you're going to go in and meditate and like how you see how the flame is there and then the flame is there. It's like all of a sudden it clicks and you're like, oh, you can release it. Also with the fire, I'm, I just thought, oh my gosh, yeah. You might want to do a cord cutting because I'm just seeing like the two, I know it's lightning, but it's like two cords and there's fire and they're broken. Hmm, interesting. Um, to release someone if you don't want them back in your life and then you can move forward. My dog is barking, so there's some animal for you. Um, yeah, but I think you just have to sit with yourself and then you'll be surprised how quickly you can move through it. But it's really a happy, beautiful energy. It's just like light, like everything is much lighter after this is... I just want to get... I guess, I'm, I'm sure it's just different for everyone, that's why it's like all the different scenarios there. Um, I did see the Queen of Wands earlier. I'm feeling a lot of like Leo energy here with the sun, but also just like confidence. Like well, this is about moving through the chakras. I feel like that is something maybe we'll be working on because I feel like these two cards are really about happiness and confidence and let's see the hermit is um, a Virgo energy okay and then the fool's on the back of the deck that's a new beginning adventure yeah I just like a lighter like oh I could just jump off and fly like you're just gonna like all this heavy energy is gonna be gone yeah Nine of Wands. I'm feeling exhausted. You want to give up? Want to give up? But you're so close. Just this is also like the cosmic egg, like climbing the chakra, like the chakra is going up to the crown chakra. That's how I'm seeing that. So maybe some chakra meditations would be helpful. Also, I heard. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing else. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it at that. If that resonated, resonated with you, <laughs> Res maybe you're, I think I said resonate, so, re I don't, anyways, if you're going to quit or something, anyways, okay, if you resonate with that, please let me know in the comments, and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next time. Bye, Pile 3.